Hey everyone, today I'll be giving you a preview of the auctions platform that we're adding to the app very soon. Uh, so you guys know what to expect when that launches here in a very short amount of time. All right, so let's dive in. Uh, when there's an available auction, when you go to the home feed, there will be this new graphic that says auction preview with pictures of some of the books that will be included in that auction lot. You can tab there in order to go directly to the listing so you can preview the items that are available. You'll notice very quickly that when you tap into the items that the uh, fair market information, there's fair market value, the historical sales, a little bit of info about the book and what makes it special, as well as the census count is all available right on the auction listing, uh, very similar to the listings on the marketplace. We wanted to make it so that you didn't have to look all over the place and be logged into multiple apps or multiple websites in order to get the information you need to make smart buying decisions when you're participating in a short box auction. So we're going to take a peek at just a couple books here, kind of see where the fair market sits against the uh, previous sales and sort of plan how we want to put our bids in once bidding opens. So we're going to do that real quick and then we will come back to this in just a moment when the auctions have opened for bidding and we can get in there and play around with it a little bit. You will also notice there's a new section within the account under the profile tab for buyer auctions and that gives you a little bit of insight into the um, items you've watched so you can find them easily. Okay, looks like the auction is now live. Let's get in there and we'll do some bidding. Um, probably drop some low bids here just to get the ball rolling since I am presumably the only person participating in this at the moment. Though I will have some colleagues come in and drop some bids so that you guys can see how that flows. On the items, you can tap right on the total bids under the price and you can see there's full visibility on the bid history. So you can see who's bidding what, if you're competing against just one motivated buyer or a multitude of buyers, uh, our system will randomly assign a username to you when you participate in an auction that carries with you through all of the different items that you're bidding on. Uh, still maintains the user privacy uh, that we, we love about our app, but still also gives some visibility uh, in places where maybe other auction platforms don't quite give you that much. So we wanted it to be obvious what you're up against when you're bidding on items. The system is also like other auction platforms where it will incrementally bid up your amount until it hits your max bid. So you don't have to, you know, not every bid is a back and forth. And then it will show that in the detail for the bid history as well. Okay, we get to a point where I've, I'm in the green for a few of these and then we'll leave this and then we'll come back in just a moment uh, once the auction is getting closer to ending. So we can go in and put in our last bids and see if we can win some of these cool items. Okay, looks like we've got some bids starting to come in. We've got a bid of 210 on Swamp Thing. I'm gonna bid that up because I wanna stay winning on that if I can. Looks like this person wants the book, so that's cool. You gotta love that feeling when you put a bid in and you're immediately outbid. We all know that pain. So yeah, a lot, lot more activity in the bids here. You can see how that's real transparent and easy to, to read. You also receive uh, notifications in your email uh, in app regarding things like a winning bid or if you've been outbid on an item. Okay, looks like I'm back to green on a few of these books. Let's go for one more. Okay, here, let's drop something on Strange Academy. Okay, we'll leave that alone for a little bit. Uh, maybe go back, just check on the open bids that we've got available. You can see there we also store the info about closed bids or ones that have ended, so you have some way to look back on those. And then watch list, again, very helpful if you've got a big old lot of books and you don't want to have to sort through them to find what you're looking for, which makes it easy for you. All right, looks like we're about a, a day from the auction closing here. <laughs> looks like, of course, I've been outbid on everything. That's fine. That's par for the course when you're participating in an auction. Uh, so I'm gonna go back in, take a quick peek at the bids, see what I'm up against, and increase my bids so that I can get back into the green on a few of these. And then 
we're gonna leave it alone for a little bit and, and see if I've won. Uh, something to note is that auctions are sudden death. Uh, we're not going to extend the bidding period if, an, if a bid comes in within a few minutes of it closing. So you can snipe, you can be sniped. Um, we will eventually add things like reserves and minimums, but for now have fun just trying to get the best deal that you can on all of the cool books we're gonna be listing for auction. Okay, okay. So final bids are in. Uh, here's an example of the uh, on-screen notific or the in-app notifications for the the bid updates mentioned a little earlier. Okay, let's see if I won. Ah, uh, butts. <laughs> looks like I got outbid on Saga of the Swamp Thing. That's a bummer. That was probably the coolest book in that that lot. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, so I won, I think, the Hulk, which is cool. Uh, again, you can go back to the auction section and profile and you can look at the closed bids. In this case, I can just go straight to the checkout option since I won, I won that Hulk. Um, something that you guys have been asking for for a long time that's finally here is combined shipping if you win multiple items. Since we have the items physically with us at headquarters, we'll be able to combine those and provide you with a more reasonable shipping amount. Uh, we also adding in ACH option for payment. So if you want to use your bank account to pay rather than a PayPal debit or credit card, there's no additional fees for that. Whereas with PayPal credit card and debit, there will be a 3% additional charge added. And that pretty much wraps it up for, for auctions. Once you check out, your books show up after uh, a little bit of time and that's it. If you guys have, aren't already excited, be sure to get excited. This will be dropping in the app probably in the next month and that's it. Thanks for your time, guys. Hope you enjoyed.